Hello? Yes. No, no, that, that's okay. Two o'clock. Okay. Okay, thanks. Gonna sit here? Silent treatment, okay. That's all you've given me for the past two and a half years. Can we just stop this? Can we talk? Can we stop? Can we... Sure, dear. What would you like to talk about? Listen. Now what you must think of me, I know what I've done, but I'm not that guy anymore. Things have changed. I don't think anything has changed. You haven't even written me a letter, a postcard, a phone call. I got nothing. I got absolutely nothing. I can't even go outside and look at the neighbors straight in the face. I can't even go to the grocery store without people approaching me and, and talk to me like someone just died in my family. I mean, do you know how that feels? Do you know how that feels to wake up alone? And you can't sit here and tell me you changed when, in reality, you're just the same egotistical, self-centered son of a bitch you were in jail. I mean, when even when we were in court, when I stood by you, you would just were thinking about yourself the entire time. So don't just sit here and act like everything is just fine, Kyle, because you have Abandon me in every sense of the word. Finished? <laughs> cool. First time making the rounds? Yeah, fresh out of the cannery last month. It's the only drug I still haven't kicked. Uh, from the taste of it, I can't understand why not. Well, one thing you learn from this job, kid? You take the bitter with the good. And no matter how bad it seems now, you'll develop a taste for it. So, straight out of the academy, huh? I remember those days. Fresh onto the job, ready for action. Didn't do anything to make the captain happy. Yeah, something like that. You'll realize soon enough that uh, trying to make the captain happy isn't always the best way to go. I mean, this isn't just textbooks and chalkboards anymore. It's real life. What do you mean, real life? It's not something I can explain. It's something you have to see for yourself. I mean, 
Things are going to happen. Things that you won't even see coming. And they're going to change you. Take you down a different path. The thing is, sometimes you won't even remember where you came from. Well, can you at least tell me where we're going now? Somewhere I've been before. So Jimmy stopped by today. Okay. Here we go again. Jesus Christ, everything I say. Well, what is this time? More money or what? What? What more money? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the last two and a half years. I'm talking about how you're not even out for more than five minutes and it's back to business as usual. You just can't seem to understand that maybe I'm a different person, can you? I don't have any reason to believe that. I mean, I walk into a room and you don't even acknowledge me. Like, I'm nothing. I'm not going to put up with that anymore. But what makes you think that I'm, I'm still involved with that? that? That's not who I am anymore. I'm out of that. I'm done. Don't tell me what I want to hear. You're serious. Yeah, that's not who I am anymore. That's not what I want to do. It's not what you deserve. I'm out. Okay. We're gonna get out of here, okay? Okay. Here we are. No, no, I'll get it. What are you doing here? Is he home yet? Nick, not now. Is everything all right? So we're gonna help you with detective. Let's go upstairs, right? I'll be right there. Okay. New partner, huh? It's pretty cold out here. You're gonna let me in or am I gonna freeze to death? I'll just sit down for a drink. You wanna join me? No thanks, nothing for me. How many years now and I still can't get you to have a drink with me? How's that saying go? Never trust a man who doesn't take a drink? It's funny, I always thought it was the other way around. So what brings you back around here, huh? You miss me up at state? Nah, I just wanted to make sure you got home okay. Did Melissa pick you up? It's funny, I remember when I was doing that for your first year of college, driving to the airport. God. All the while, I was sitting at home on Friday nights alone, studying my ass off. There was something about those plane rides home, something, something refreshing and familiar, you know? Can't escape your past. All the people in this town thought you were something, huh? It's funny how things change. So I heard Jimmy stop by this morning. How's that son of a bitch doing? Well, you have to ask my wife. I just got home a couple hours ago. So you two haven't been in contact? No. So, what do you want? Want me to call up the guys and get the old poker game going again? Or did you just stop by to take another look at my wife? I'm here on business, not pleasure. Well, let's get to it, Detective. What's on your mind? About a year ago, my partner was murdered. He was on a routine assignment when two guys came up from behind him and broke his legs. They tied him up and threw him in the trunk of their car. They shot him three times and put him in a swamp up near Sea Caucus. We found him a week later. Bed. I had to look his wife in the eyes and tell her what happened to her husband. Do you know what that's like? 
It's hell. Where she just happens to have been living for the past year of her life. Do you have anything you want to tell me? About what? About the death of Detective Ryan Anderson. Your timing's really off today, kid. A year ago, I was still in prison. You're telling me that you haven't had any visitors, any connections in the past two and a half years? Well, I tried to get Rita Hayworth, but I couldn't scrounge up enough cigarettes. <clears throat> two days before the murder. It's your name, isn't it? It's funny. No one other than your wife had visited you for seven months. And two nights before the murder, this person just happened to visit you. James McManus? Uh, I don't know any McManus. I think you're getting some bad information, Detective. I don't know a McManus either. But I do know a James Paulino. He still goes by Jimmy, doesn't he? You can keep quiet all you want, but I'm going to keep digging until I have enough information to put your ass away for good, you son of a bitch. It's a shame you said that. I was just about to invite you over for dinner. Enjoy that dinner. Hey Nick, better look with your new partner. Well, son of a bitch. What happened? He stared right at me. Right at me. You ordered the hit on my partner Anderson, I know it. He basically admitted it right there. So why isn't he in cuffs? Why are we just standing here? Because I've got nothing. Nothing. I don't have a goddamn thing to pin him on. So what did he want? Nothing. Just catching up. Catching up? Didn't sound like two friends down there. Funny. Didn't look like two friends when you went and opened up the door for him this afternoon either. And what the hell is that supposed to mean? I think you know. Yeah, it's me. Let's meet up, we gotta talk. Oh, this stuff still tastes like shit. <laughs> so, what are we doing out here? I gotta come up with a reason soon or else my girlfriend's gonna think I'm with another woman. All right, look, Kyle and me go way back. We were friends for a long time. <laughs> Shit, we played Little League together. Anyway, midway through college, he dropped out, got involved with a real rough crowd. And my best friend turned into somebody that I had never even met. So anyway, at that point, 
I was a kid going through the academy, and my best friend's knocking off apartment complexes and stores. My old partner caught him robbing a liquor store at gunpoint. He went away for two and a half years on assaulted burglary charges. Ever since then, we haven't remained close. When my partner was killed, I knew something was up. Jimmy Paulino visited Kyle two days before he was murdered. I didn't want to believe it, but somehow I always knew that Kyle had something to do with it. You said he basically admitted it right there. He told me, better luck with your new partner. I hope so, too. Bottom line is, Ryan was like family to me. Had a beautiful wife, two beautiful girls. Every Thursday night, I still go over there. And every Thursday night, his two girls ask when their father's coming home. I owe it to them to seek some kind of justice. But I, I thought you said we didn't have enough evidence. There will be enough. I recognize that car. I saw it this morning. I'm going in. You can't do that. We don't even have a warrant. Are you still worried about the damn captain? Fuck him. Fifteen minutes, call for backup. But shouldn't we call a judge or something? Or? Fifteen minutes. My old friend's been asking a lot of questions today. He knows. He talked to me this morning. I told him to go to hell. I thought all this shit was taken care of. As far as I knew it was, we did everything right. Then why did I have two detectives at my house today? I'm not out one goddamn day already. I'm looking over my shoulder. Two and a half years, I'm in that cell. It's a hell of a lot shorter than a lot of guys we know, but it's two and a half years too long for me. I can only imagine. And the whole time in there, I'm thinking what it's gonna be like when I get out. Figure I call him to the wife, start a family, you know, things would be good. But she comes and picks me up this morning, and already she's giving me shit. And now this. She'll come around. All right, so what do we do? Smart move here, gets you nothing. What's he got? That I met with you a few days before his partner went six feet under? As far as I know. Then he's got nothing! <sighs> we planned this thing very carefully. There is no way to piece it together and for it to get back to you. This would not stand trial, let alone a conviction.
Goddamn thing's eating away at me. No matter what I do or where I go, shit's gonna haunt me. You've got to stop worrying. You're protected. That place really softened you up. You're right. I just can't help thinking about, about that wife being told that her husband was killed. And those two daughters waking up every morning. And what that must feel like. <sighs> Things we do, Jimmy. I just don't understand what makes this guy so goddamn important. Things we do. You have the right to remain. Dispatch, calling dispatch. Shots fired at 421 Cano. Repeat, shots fired. Holy shit, what the hell happened? I had no choice. What do you mean? I had no choice. What the hell are you talking about? I got justice. Dispatch, situation resolved. Send a medic to the same address. Remember you told me this job would take you down paths you never thought you'd be on? Yeah, something like that. Which path was Justice on? <laughs>